Peace, Love, and Light, Capricorn. This is Sarita Daly with your monthly reading for the month of July 2016. What I have coming up for you now is some questions about relationships. And the question is, it's really, really so important to ask, can this relationship grow? Can this relationship grow out of where it, you know, has come from, you know, and is it getting better? Is it evolving? The other thing is, can it be saved? Some of you are dealing with some difficult difficult situations from your past, especially. And now there's success to be had in either walking away or in staying in that relationship I'm seeing. What does have to change about the relationship is people have to stop living in the past, and that's coming up. And it is something that is weighing heavily on you and the other's mind. And it's also telling you here that basically underlining like there's going to be some grudges there's going to be some some um, energy that's going to be held from dealing with such a difficult time and this is some of you not all of you the outcome of the situation though is coming up though that um people are feeling guarded you know they're not able to open up and trust like they used to there's definitely a feeling of looking in the other direction and of like wanting to just leave it all together we've got the five of pentacles card here too which is showing that, you know, the, the connection that you have felt with this other person, that could feel really good right now. And maybe the difficulty is in the past, which, hey, that would be great. And now you all perhaps are celebrating, you know, with the, um, the four of wands card here. I do see that there's actions being taken, though, to shift things in a huge way. And beyond that, what is hidden about this situation is that, again, people are definitely feeling kind of slighted and they're not speaking their mind. It is a time to go ahead and say your piece. And it may be a little bit fiery, but I do see that resolution is definitely happening. And it could feel like a heavy burden though, but it's soon to end. It's getting, it's, it's like coming to a head right now. So things are really building up and it's about to heat up. But there's really a lot of strength in you uh, walking away from a situation or walking away from a way that you saw it, you know, with the eight of, what do we have here? Oh yeah, we have the eight of cups card, you know, walking away from a bad situation. And in order to do that, you walk into a situation which is of the 10 of cups and you're fulfilled, you know. It does have to do with checking out how you're seeing this thing. And then the other things, the other stuff that's coming to mind is be mindful of who you're, pers who you're sharing your personal info with this month. This includes um, pictures too, that's what I saw. And then you're doing great with pretty much planning and, and um, planning out your life and, and things like that. And this is going to empower and motivate you beyond what anybody else can do for you. And know that nothing is set in stone. You know, this has to do with the person and a career. You know, also your children, they are changing. They're evolving. Their minds are just like sponges soaking up everything. And expansion is happening. And so living in the past is counterproductive. And it does show here that it could be something that's bothering your life force or your energy because you have been focused in the past, you know, looking down instead of looking up at all the good things that are happening for you in your life, you know, watching it and seeing how you can grow those things. Uh, know that to fail is to succeed. You know, you may have heard this before, but in your situation, you know, you do have the death card here and you're dying to old ways of doing things. It's cool. It's all right. It's very good. You've been wanting this for a long time, I'm seeing. You know, you got the star card here. Your ancestors, guides, the ascendant masters and angels are there helping you to come up and change things like, you know, and do things differently. You may not know which way to go and that's cool. But you're going to find your way. You always will. And you're going to be fulfilled. And this month, you're going to see a huge change because you got the success card. It does mean that things are happening. Even though they may feel like they're off balance, it may feel a little chaotic. It's cool. Also, try again to have that beautiful baby. For some of you who want to have a baby and nothing's set in stone. And then, you know, that is pretty much what your reading is saying. And, um, and be mindful of, you know, yourself. And um, you're coming home to yourself, and that's what matters. That's what matters most. You know, tell people what you want from them as well. That's what you're being guided to do. Beyond that, that was your reading. Let me go ahead and tell you about naturallyhighlife.com. I have a sale for you right now, naturallyhighlife.com. It's forward slash summer heat to go straight to it. 
Also want you to check out naturallyhighlight.com and I have a six month ahead reading for you. And that reading is going to cover for the next six months for all signs. You can definitely check that out on the website. Six month is what you would look for and that's after naturallyhighlight.com and beyond that. Thank you for following me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And thank you for sticking in here with me and uh, being with me along this journey. Peace, love, and light to you.